In this video, we will add and subtract some vectors and their scalar multiples. A scalar multiple is when you're multiplying a vector by a real number. Um, we will do that algebraically and graphically, but let's start off with this nice word problem. An airplane takes off and flies west for 200 miles. Then it turns and flies north for 150 miles to its destination. What is the magnitude and direction of the vector from where the plane took off to where the plane landed? Okay, so the plane flew uh, west for 200 miles. So let's, let's say this is the uh, takeoff point. So it flies west for 200 miles. So that would be something like this. And then it flies um, north for 150 miles. So that would be like this. And then they want the magnitude and direction for the overall trip, which would be like this. OK, so um, first of all, the magnitude is just going to be, um, I mean, you could do the Pythagorean theorem, but um, the way we work with vectors, we can find the magnitude and might as well set up for the direction as well. Uh, we just do the square root of 150 squared plus, oh, that was supposed to be squared, 150 squared plus 200 squared. So that's going to be the square root of 22,500 plus 40,000. That gives us the square root of 62,500, which, ha which happens to be 250. Okay, so that is the magnitude of the journey, 250, and uh, you know what? We should say miles. Stick that on the end of there. Okay, now how about that direction? So for the direction, it's useful to make a diagram like this. And, you know, a rough sketch is usually sufficient. Um, we're going left and up from the perspective of this graph. So that puts us into the second quadrant. I'm just going to make a little triangle out of it. And I'm going to put a reference angle right here that we can find. Um, now, so we went left. 200 and up 150. Okay, so that's 200 and 150. So uh, I can find this reference angle by doing the tangent of the reference angle is equal to 150 over 200. Uh, I just feel like reducing that. Okay, so that's 15 over 20. Um, dividing by 5, that's going to be 3 over 4. So, I can find the reference angle by doing the inverse tangent of 3 over 4. Okay, let's consult the calculator and do the inverse tangent of 3 over 4. 36.87. Okay, so now that's the reference angle. The actual angle uh, that we want, the direction angle, has to be measured from the positive x-axis. Let's call it theta. All right, theta was on its way to 180, but it had to stop short by R. So theta should equal 180 minus 36.87. And that's it. So we have the magnitude and the direction. 
Okay, so number eight. We are given these coordinates, um, components, and uh, we're supposed to calculate 3u minus 2v. So let's see. Let's just do this in component form. So 3u minus 2v. All right, this is what we are dealing with. I'm going to multiply by the scalar. That's the 3. So I'm going to get negative 6, comma, 12. Now look right here. When I am subtracting like this, I often will squeeze in a little plus sign right here to remind me that what I really want to do is distribute a negative 2. All right, I'm multiplying by negative 2, not positive 2. And then I'm going to add the result. OK, so multiplying by negative 2, I'm going to get negative 6, comma, negative 16. And now I will add the corresponding components. And I will get negative 12 comma negative 4. All right, now it's time to sketch this subtraction. So let's start with 3u. To build three vector u's, we need to start with one vector u. So let's start by sketching negative 2 comma 4. And I'll go ahead and start off in standard position. So negative 2 comma 4 means I would go left 2 and up 4. So this would be the terminal point. So if I graphed right now, that would be one vector u. Uh, but I want three of them. So I, I'm going to keep going. So instead of drawing a little graph right now, I'm just going to uh, put more dots. So if I go left 2 and up 4 again, all right, now the dots show me that I would have two vector u so far. I need one more. So I will go left 2 and up 4 again. And now I would have three vector u's. One, two, three vector u's. So I can go ahead and draw a single vector that represents 3u from the initial point uh, to this terminal point. All right, and I'm going to let it be blue. So this is the vector 3u. Now, when you're adding, you start the next vector from the terminal point of the first vector, and you keep going. When you're subtracting, at least the way I do it, you put the vectors tail to tail. So you start both vectors from the same initial point. So I'm going to begin to graph the vector 2v, starting with a single vector v, 3 comma 8. And because I'm going to be subtracting, I will start from the same initial point as I did before. So 3 comma 8 would mean right 3 and up 8. So right 3 and up 2, 4, 6, 8. All right, so if I drew this vector, that would be vector v. But we want 2v. So I'm going to go right 3 and up 8 again for a second vector v. So right 3 and up 2, 4, 6, 8. So that shows me where 2v would be. And uh, so now I can go ahead and draw a single vector that represents 2v, all right, the resultant. And uh, I'll let this one be red.
Okay, now when you subtract two vectors, in order to find the resultant, you want to draw that resultant vector from terminal point to terminal point across like this. This is what you do when you subtract. But the order is very important. Um, you know what? I forgot to label this one. This was 2v. So the order is very important. I want to subtract 3u minus 2v. But when I draw this, I need to start with 2v and draw my way over to 3u. In other words, the order is reversed from the way it appears in the original problem. So I am going to draw this resultant vector from terminal point to terminal point, but I'm going to go from 2v to 3u. Terminal point to terminal point. And I like my resultant vectors to be green. Okay, so this is the vector 3u minus 2v. All right, and that's our sketch. Let's look back and see how it compares to what we got algebraically. Um, algebraically, we got the resultant vector negative 12 comma negative 4. So that means graphically, this vector should go left 12 and down 4. And that looks right. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down and do something very similar for number 9. Okay, so we're supposed to calculate u plus 3v. So this time vector u is negative 2 comma negative 2. All right, plus 3v, which is 1 comma negative 3. Um, let's go ahead and multiply by this scalar first. So I'm just going to keep my negative 2 comma negative 2. Uh, but then I will have 3 comma negative 9. Now I can just add the corresponding components. So that's going to give me 1 comma negative 11. So this should be my resultant vector. Now let's do the sketch. Let's start our sketch with vector u. Um, and we only have one of them this time. So I'm going to go ahead and start from standard position. Vector u should go left 2 and down 2. So if I go left 2 and down 2, this will be my terminal point. So that's really it for vector u. So vector u is going to look like this. And I'll make it blue. Now, when you are adding, you need to put the next vector at the terminal point of the first vector. So pick up where you left off. So um, I need to draw 3v. But I'm going to do 1v at a time. So uh, first let me draw my first vector v which should go right 1 and down 3. And again, I'm going to pick up where I left off and go right 1, down 3. Okay, so this would be my first vector v. All right, I'm going to do that two more times. So if I go right 1, down 3, this would be my second vector v. Let's do it one more time. Right 1, down 3. This would be my third vector v. Put them all together, that's 3v. So I can go ahead and, and draw vector 3v from its initial point to the terminal point. And uh, let's go ahead and make it red. Now 
Now when you're adding, your resultant vector should go from the first initial point to the final terminal point. So I am going to draw this resultant vector from the first initial point to the final terminal point like this. And I'm going to make it green. So this is the vector u plus 3v. By the way, always label your diagrams just like I'm doing. Now let's compare this resultant vector to what we got algebraically. Um, algebraically, we got a vector that would go right 1 and down 11. So from its initial point, if we go right 1 and down 11, it matches. Hey guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click over here to watch the next video. And click over here to subscribe. That way you'll get every new video delivered right to your home screen.